Hey guys, Any here and welcome back to another tutorial. So last time we made a code that uh, connects to our Twitch channel and made a config with our data. So it's been a while and I got kind of out of touch with the code, but I'll try to make it understandable. I could talk about how life got busy, yada yada yada, but uh, let's skip that thing and let's go straight into it. So today I would like to talk about chat messages, uh, how to implement chat and handle messages in your UI and maybe add a couple even handlers at the end. Let's go straight into it. Editor in here. Sorry to interrupt the video. I would just like to point out, if you haven't seen the first episode, there is gonna be a link in the top right corner that you can click on and check it out, I recommend. And if you would be so kind, please subscribe. And at the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, it helps a lot. And I'm gonna pass the word back to the real me. Enjoy. So first we're gonna need a custom class, which will hold our message. And I'll go ahead and uh, make that now. So uh, let's make that tidy, make a new folder for our classes, add a class, we'll name it chat message. So this needs to be public so we can use it. First of all, we're gonna need a property that will hold our name of the user. So the username. Another property is going to hold the message. So I'm a lazy, so I'm just going to go and uh, copy paste this. Change this to message. If I could type message. All right. And because we are not in uh, 1890, we're going to add a color value of the user from Twitch. All right, so that's our class that we're going to use and our model. Now I'm going to add the structure in the XML that we're going to use for displaying the chat. And since this is a slightly complicated structure, not really, but uh, I'll write the code and meanwhile I'll let editor Annie to explain it with some cool graphics. Probably a uh, paint. All right, so here we have a visual representation, the XML part I was talking about. So what's going on here is that on the right side, you can see that we have a list box, which contains a stack panel that is holding two text boxes. This is for the reason that we can easily split the message and the user. So we can use the color to color the username in the UI. The stack panel has to be there so we can orient the text boxes horizontal. That's pretty much to it. When we receive a message from our model, it's going to be pushed to list box and then it's going to be transferred towards the text boxes. So username goes to left and message goes to right. And the color value is used as a foreground of the first text block. So that's pretty much it and I'm gonna continue on with the video. Okay, so after we have our UI done, we're gonna implement the event handler for message receive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and allow this, create it. Actually, me missing one thing. And that is um, our collection of our chat messages. How is that not obvious that it's from classes come on oh because uh twitch lib has the has that class as well okay so in this method we are receiving a message whenever anything is typed in your twitch chat that you're connected to uh it's gonna go through this event handler so we're gonna create a new instance for the chat message with a username come on username are you not picking up the thing again user thank you okay so from the event arcs, we're gonna get a chat message and it should contain a username. But we're not gonna use that, we're gonna use the display name because it's much nicer. Username is usually um, all lowercase and it doesn't look that good, so I'm gonna use the display name. Uh, next up we have message, which is just that, uh, no semicolon, thank you. Okay, and as last but not least, bang bang, we're gonna add the color value in hex. No semicolon, thank you. And that's about it. Oh yeah, no, uh, we need to add it to the messages. So messages, add to it, um, okay. And it should be it. So whenever we receive a message, it should update into our UI. So let's go ahead and test that. So let's do test one, two, three, and something broke. Ah, yeah, right. Gotcha. So, on load, we'll create the instance. Alright. 
Now it should work. So test 23 did not work. And I just realized that we are missing one thing, which is on property change to let the UI know that actually the messages have been changed. And that actually might have been the issue, but it never hurts to sync your UI. It kind of prevents a lot of issues with threading. So let's go ahead and try now. See if that works. Uh, test one to three. That still don't work. Wonder why. Wonder why. Okay, so I finally issued uh, why it wasn't working and it's kind of embarrassing, so I'm not gonna show it. Anyway, let's uh, start that bad boy up and do and our chat message is there, colorized. So just do one, two, three. There it is. Okay, let's add one basic uh, event handler to our code and then I'm gonna wrap this up, wrap this episode up. I'm gonna add an event handler for for um, user joined, so that way we can see who joins our channel. Client on user joined. Help me, Visual Studio. Okay, I'm gonna create a little method that uh, lets our bot actually talk in our UI. So I'm gonna borrow this from uh, my Twitch bot because I'm lazy. So I need to fix a couple things. This is classes chat me message. All right, so apparently the assembly changed a bit since I last touched this. So I just Googled uh, hacks for blue color and just edited manually. All right, since we have this sorted, I'm just gonna do the bot update message and feed it the username, which is e username, and then add like joined the channel at the end. And you should sort the deal. Yeah, so bot is there. It should show me in a bit. It's not instant. It takes a while to update. So. Oh, here it is. Here. Here it's me. And probably some bots in the ch hanging in the channel are gonna show up soon anyway. Or maybe not. I haven't streamed for like a month, so they might be gone. <laughs> anyway, next time. I don't know what I want to talk about yet. Oh. I'll figure it out. But there's still things to add to this anyway, so we'll work it out. That's it for today's episode. So please, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, it helps a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.